have so we're just gonna go straight into this video so the first thing i like to do when i wake up is take a shot of apple cider vinegar i do this when i wake up and before i go to bed because it's really important to start your gut just like refresh your gut now there's a lot of be health benefits for apple cider vinegar if it is too strong for you you can do half um, and dilute it with water that's what usually I do and then take the shot until you build up tolerance for it it's definitely not something everybody can do so honestly however much water you want to add definitely do that um, as far as supplements and stuff which you guys are always asking me I always take biotin which is for my nails and for my hair and skin for pre-workout I take this um, super set um, this basically gives you a really good pump, but I'm not taking as much next I just take multivitamins especially during this cold coronavirus stuff and As far as protein you guys know on the right. I've ESO XP is definitely my favorite and it's um, not sponsored by them anymore But um, these are the two proteins that I usually drink now the first thing I like to do when I wake up also is make breakfast um, you guys breakfast is the most important meal of the day the first thing is either usually this or um, the waffles that I'm gonna show you guys how I also do mind you guys also honestly during this whole quarantine like I haven't been as consistent with breakfast I will f I feel like I do more waffles now than the smoothie just because I feel like I felt better when I was doing the smoothie whilst I was going to the gym but this is definitely something you can also do um, for your breakfast uh, I know when you some of the ingredients in this are gonna seem very weird but it tastes so good like really really good I know even when I recommend my clients some meal plans and I tell them to add egg whites into their smoothie they're like what the fuck like no and I'm like you won't even taste it like egg whites don't even taste like anything so um yeah uh definitely comment down below if you guys try this I definitely like this as a breakfast but like I said I've honestly just consistent wise I've only been doing this when I was before the gym as you can tell like I don't even have my tattoo I got my tattoo probably literally three days before everything started going crazy also you guys I'm gonna do a part two because I feel like this video is kind of a little bit of what I do but not everything to the extent so I'm definitely going to do a part two which is kind of be more of like I said this is more of like quarantine time but not really what I do when I'm like actually working out and by the way you guys instead of using the crunchy one peanut butter organic peanut butter get the smooth kind because um, unless you like chunk chunks in your smoothie um, definitely get the smooth one I'm not the biggest fan of the chunks but when I had it that day it wasn't the worst but like I said definitely get the smooth one if you if you don't like any chunks or textures in your um, in your smoothie meal which is the waffles now I don't use those were the plain ones were the only plain ones that I had okay I usually like the cinnamon and the fluffy ones um, and then I just put in my toaster I like my my waffles to be more on the toasty brownish side um, so after that I just put peanut butter on and then add some cinnamon and then I use the toaster usually I only use um, like the sandwich maker I mean when I want it to be a little bit more on the toastier side but then again if you don't have a sandwich maker literally you just put it in the toaster for a longer time I don't know why I just didn't do that but <laughs> anyways um, I'll add extra pictures of the other waffles that I personally like like I said I ran out of those ones and I had just the plain ones left so that's usually what I do I love these waffles like I can literally live off these during quarantine for the longest time like I don't even care and then after that I just cut them up warm up my maple syrup and then I put my maple syrup on top and that's literally it so you're this is definitely but you guys don't eat this every day Day, okay because you're going to gain a lot you're going to get fat okay let me tell you this you're going to gain weight so don't definitely don't be eating this every day especially with the syrup it's not the best unless you're using like a zero calorie um, 
syrup now the next one usually this is what I like to eat around lunchtime which is like a um, I just add the tuna I drain the tuna first before I put it in um, into my bowl uh, like I said I drain it over the sink and then after I just add a little bit of pepper a little bit of salt um, you guys when you are adding salt to your meals I recommend that you add Himalayan I think that's how you say Himalayan salt instead of just regular salt or just don't add salt at all because sodium is not great for your body um, and then after that I just boil some um, some broccoli and some cauliflower sometimes I also add like carrots um, into this and then I just mix it together and that's it for lunch and then the next one usually Sometimes if I'm still hungry, I'll just do a cup of rice and then the tuna and then I mix it together This usually would be more of like my third meal or just a little bit a few hours after lunch and before supper So that's kind of like a really good meal and like I said you guys I'm gonna do a part two because this is not kind of completely of what I eat and this is not everything i eat like every day like my diet is always different every day so um it's kind of like just a cumulative of what i eat so like i said uh definitely i'm gonna do a part two stay tuned for that As far as supper or dinner time, I usually do either salmon or I do chicken or I do steak. And usually it depends. I usually just like salmon because it's really easy to make. Um, also chicken is actually very easy, but steak is the hardest. But also you guys, you don't want to eat steak too often, especially not too late because it's hard for it. your, sorry, your, it's hard for your stomach to break it down so you definitely want to have you don't want to have that too late and it's not the best for you um, so salmon is definitely the best way to go I just uh, season my salmon and then I put it in the oven and that's pretty much it and then I add a cup of rice every time I eat rice I always do one cup of rice and then um, I add some veggies on the side my favorite my favorite would be the what do you call it the broccoli and cauliflower and some carrots that's pretty much it That's the end product. I forgot to record 
after what it looked like when I had the rice and the broccoli but that, that's pretty much it as you can see there's a big chunk out of there because I needed to taste it so as far as juice the only juice that I drink is pineapple juice because it's a great antioxidant and even then I don't drink it that often but when I do want something sweet I drink that I don't drink soda or pop or anything like that um, except for pineapple juice and water that's pretty much it um, also these are kind of like examples of what I eat in the past before the whole quarantine and everything happened I was sponsored by a meal company which was great for me because it was easier and not as time-consuming because I'm you know busy and stuff like that um, if you guys are located in Toronto you can um, message them but yeah that's pretty much kind of what I eat and also I'll show you guys pictures of what I like usually I post on my Instagram story what I eat for supper and stuff like that but like I said like it's kind of hard for me to make a video just kind of like all at once because like I said my usually what I eat is not consistent every single day it's always different so I kind of like accumulately have to record everything um, unless it's a strict like I want to lose weight or lean up diet um, it's not that unless like I said unless it's that then other than that then I'm not really focused on exactly what I'm putting into my body especially now with this whole quarantine but yeah that's pretty much it you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys in my next video